you guys doing? It's Pesep here. Welcome back to another episode of PES 2015 My Club Series Road to Division 1. Now before we start this, I had someone to tell me uh, I am clearly Scottish and I'm trying to put on a pathetic Russian accent. Now, first thing first, I am half Italian, half Turkish, lived in UK for 10 years. And I don't need to put any accent on. I've been having problems even when I stream. People ask me, where are you from? You got a funny accent. I don't put an accent on guys, honestly. This is how I talk. Now, you guys are making me self-conscious now. I'm actually kind of, I feel like I need to put an accent on right now. Because I don't. And some of you think that I'm putting an accent on. It makes me self-conscious. So just let me talk, okay? Um, I'm not angry, by the way. I'm just saying. I mean, put yourself in my position. Getting self-conscious right now. As I said, half Italian, half Turkish. Lived in school for 10 years. So I don't even know where the fudge I'm from. Or what's my accent. And why the hell would I put on... In particular, Russian accent. Anyway, in the previous episode, we combined the most defensive manager by formation and tactic with the most offensive manager by formation and tactic. The most defensive manager, as you can see in this picture, was Davistra. He is offen he is super defensive by tactic and formation. And on the other side, you can see Bento. He's super offensive by formation and tactic. I've explained that in my previous episode. You can check that out. Uh, this time, we're going to go ahead with Bento. This is our formation 4 1 2 3. Super offensive formation wise. And tactically, he's super offensive as well. Because whether it's quick counter or position, defensive style is frontline pressure. And pressuring is actually aggressive. That makes him super offensive by formation and by tactic. We're gonna go ahead for a match here. Uh, just a quick division match. Now mind you guys, I've had somebody commenting that um, I have a great team and I'm still moaning about managers. Guys, please. I am a YouTuber and I am a streamer. I put things on a test. I have lost hundreds of games for me testing managers. So even when I stream, my stream is not about die hard and try hard, try to win. My stream are for testing formation and tactic until I combine the master, the best formation, which combined with the best tactic. It's very hard to find a manager that's uh, going to fit all these, but I am testing things. When I upload videos about tactical tips, I don't just sit like a wise guy and give you a tip. I obviously test everything. So to respond to that guy who said, why am I moaning about tactics when I have Messi and Ibrahimovic? Um, let me tell you, mate. Tactic is important for me. The reason why it's important to me is because I don't depend on one player and abuse him. I don't depend on Horan Messi abusing my best player. I like team play. Therefore, I like my tactic to be the way I want them to be. Because as I said, in the pitch, you're controlling one player. You've got nine players around you controlled by AI. So these players will move according to the tactic you have. For example, if you want to play short pass by a manager with build up short pass. If you're if your attacking area is wide and you're trying to attack down the middle, that ain't work. But let's not get deep to it. We're gonna go ahead with with this match guys. Uh, this is just started. I am Pesep FC with my custom kits. Uh, we're trying Bento in the previous episode we tried Devistra. Let's go ahead and see how it works. Now if I win or lose, if I win this game doesn't mean uh, Bento is a fucking you know is, is the is the guy is the guy for you. He's he's, he's good. You cannot judge a manager by one game. Even though I could be winning this game, but personally, I don't like uh, I don't like uh, Bento because he's so unbalanced. He's so aggressive defensively uh, and he's so offensive by formation and tactics, and I don't like him. Minute 20, we're gonna jump into the heart of the action, guys. As I always say, almost when I start a match against an opponent, I let him have the field just to figure out what's his style, if he's a long ball spammer, if he's a 1-2 passer. When you, most likely, you'll be playing against a 1-2 passer, as I always say, the way to defend against 1-2s is to always stay with the passer, because the passer is the one that who makes a run. And offside traps as well. I mean, look at, look at this here. It's obviously guy does... Um, PS 14 and 13 style lob through balls which has no effect on us whatsoever and I always says when when play against uh, predictable players take advantage of his predictability try offside traps push your defensive line high and low according to the situation as you can see here he has a chance now I can see he didn't want to his players trigger run all I did I stood and I done offside trap that's predictable keep an eye on the player the other player 
the player who's, who he's on, forget about that. Just look around what's his next step. Be ahead of him. And that's the best way to defend. Minute 37 here, guys. As you can see, look at the radar. How, how am I pushing my defensive line up so I can intercept and counter quickly? And uh, this is what we're working out on, guys. Just try to start your counter deep. Tony Cruz. That's what it's all about guys, always have a little plan in your head before you attack. So the first half finishes 1-0 guys, let's jump into the second half. Minute 59, we've done our 3 subs as usual, we're under a counter here. I'm keeping an eye on the player that he triggers. Neuer is my backbone man. I had him in day one. All right, this is a clear chance for a counter. Salah is alone. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go. An empty space in front of me. Go, 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 go. Nice dribble, nice dribble, nice dribble. Finish. Oof. What a bomb of a shot, guys. 2-0, guys. 2-0, 2-0, 2-0. We are totally controlling the game, guys. As you can see from kickoff, he's trying to just jump in. And take on all my defenders. Nice dribble and nice dribble and clear chance he has here. You better finish this. You better finish this. Oh my god, what a miss. What a miss. Don't ever rush your finishing, guys. Let's try for another counter deep. Minute 64. We're leading 2 0, guys. Messi's in. Di Maria. Ah, hate those mistake passing, man. See, that's what I like about um, build up short. Your player stays close to you. Salah, go, go. Tony Cruz. Tony Cruz gets in. 3 0, guys. 3 0. Minute 77 here, guys. As you can see, we are under attack from the opponent. A corner kick, nice and clear. Another chance for a counter. Messi is alone. I can see the flank. Salah is on the flank. Just going to buy myself time till he's not offside. Whoa, nice pass from Messi. Nice pass from Messi. Come on, come on, Tony Cruz, Tony Cruz, anyone, anyone, anyone. Ah, don't overdo it. Get in, Tony Cruz. All right, all right, all right. Oof. Come on, come on. That's the pressure about Bento, guys. Look, two, three, four, five, eight player in this pitch. Another easy interception with his easy, predictable loft of three balls. Very predictable to defend. Let's get in for another goal. Griezmann, who's beside me there. Right, Messi. Messi, 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 Messi. This is going to get Messi. 4 0, guys. Game is definitely over. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumb up. Make sure to share and subscribe for my future videos. Follow me on Twitter for my live stream times on Twitch, or you can simply. Um, Hit the follow button on Twitch. All these links are in the video description. I'll be streaming on Wednesday, 2 till 7 p.m. UK time, and Friday and Saturday, 11 p.m. Sometimes this could be changed. I could be streaming in random hours, just depending on circumstances. Sometimes I could be no streaming at all on the weekend. So if you follow me on Twitter, you will be notified the times that I stream or not. Anyway, bien passé. Till next time. Ciao for now.